no freaking way we are on halloween two number two i actually made it i am so freaking stoked oh my gosh i mean obviously i'm pretty inconsistent with my youtube videos but to get two halloween toots out <laughs> i am so happy anyway today obviously is going to be a halloween tutorial on poison ivy you know, I really wanted to do it because I was Poison Ivy for my very first rave that I went to and I went like all out. I mean like, if I have a picture, I'll post it in this video. I gotta find it though. But it was just, oh my god, I was obsessed with Poison Ivy. And so my hair is red now, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a Poison Ivy look. And I am really happy with the way it came out. I don't know, I mean, I was a little hesitant about the green contour, but honestly, I think it all came out pretty cool. I added some leaves. I don't have a costume on. It's just a little green halter top. I had nothing in my closet besides this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this Halloween tutorial. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that sub button, and let's just go ahead and get into this toot. So to start off, I am using Benefit's Professional Primer, applying this evenly all over my face to make sure I have a flawless foundation finish after. I'm moving on to this paint palette that I got from Amazon. I believe the seller was CC Beauty. It actually works really good. I was really surprised with how well this palette was. So I ended up putting that red color on my eyebrows, but I thought it was a little too much, so I went in with Anastasia's pomade in the color Auburn and just put that over it to give it a little more dark vibe, you know? It was a little too red for me. Now I move on to my eyelids. I've already prepped them and primed them with a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Right here, I'm just putting some Airspun Powder to set it. Oh my gosh, my favorite palette ever, officially, 100%. Oh my gosh. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette is freaking game-changing, let me tell you. So right here I go in with the color, I believe it was Saturn. It's a really beautiful orange, and I'm using that as a transition shade. I ended up putting a yellow color on top from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Palette, just to give it a little softer of an edge for the transition. Going back into the palette, I am getting this turquoise color. I actually put tape on the outer corners of my eyes because I really want that line to be completely sharp and defined. Moving on to these next two colors, I end up mixing both of them. Right here, I believe I am putting that darker shimmer color first, and then I end up gradually putting in the darker green, it's like a forest green, in the outer corner. Right here, I'm just blending everything, I'm making sure it goes into the inner eye very softly, not too harsh. And this is where I am putting that darker shade, that darker green. And I actually end up switching my brush because I wanted it to be a little more defined. So right here, I'm using a different brush just to give it a little more depth. And uh, yeah. Then I go in with that teal color again and applying this all over the lid, making sure I have a little bit of a pop of color. And then just blending all of that out so it's not harsh. Oh my gosh, if you heard that right now, sorry, that was my dog. <laughs> Moving on to my eyeliner, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Black Liquid Liner. And I took the tape off already, but this was actually the perfect guide for my eyeliner. So my eyeliner came out very sharp. And then for the lower lash line, I'm using a smaller brush and applying that teal color first. And even though my camera's a little blurry here, as you could tell, I'm making a double winged liner. I had no intention of doing this. I honestly had no idea where I was going with this look, but hey, I went with it. So at first I put that teal color. I move on to the Prism palette. Right here I'm using the color Throne and applying that on my lower lash line. I honestly think this is my favorite color from the entire palette. Like, it is just so... I don't even know how to describe it. I just... Royalty is the first thing that comes to my mind. So applying that on the lower lash line, taking it out. And of course, I did make a double wing liner, so I want that to be as sharp as possible. Going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral and a concealer brush. 
I'm just defining that second winged, second winged liner and making sure that that thing is sharp. Onto mascara, I'm using L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara and applying it on my top lashes. The falsies that I'm using right here are by Nubonsum, and this is the style Dragon Lee. Onto my Fenty foundation, I am applying this all over my face. I absolutely love this foundation. Let me tell you, this is probably top three favorite foundations. Anyway, just blending that all out, making sure that's evenly spread out all over my face. And then I move on to Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and applying this on my focal points, bridge of my nose, under eyes, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. Blending all of that out. And then I actually move on to the blending with a beauty blender just because I find that it works better to use a beauty blender for my under eye. Moving on to setting powder. I'm using Airspun's translucent powder right here, just putting it everywhere because I'm going to be doing some major contour in a little bit, so yeah. And then putting that on my nose and onto bronzer. Man, I hit pan. Gosh, I super need another Hoola bronzer, but that's what I'm using right here. I'm applying this with a Morphe, I want to say that's an E4 brush. And putting that all over my face and then right here I begin to contour my nose going in with that green color and just blending that all the way out I actually took this um, higher into my brow bone and then I was very 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 nervous about the green contour on my cheeks I was not sure about it but I ended up really liking it so I'm so glad I did right here I'm using Becca Cosmetics a highlighter I don't know the name of it but I'll make sure to list it in my description box so applying that all over I got this in this month's BoxyCharm oh my gosh I can't even believe there was a full-sized Becca highlighter like that's insane Right here I'm using, I want to say it's a Tarte blush, I'm not quite sure, but I'll make sure to double check. And onto the Prism palette, I'm using this beautiful electric yellowish green color and putting that in my inner corner. And onto Anastasia's lip palette, I'm using that red color, using the brush that the palette came with and applying this all over my lips. And then to finish off, I go in with a red color for my lower lash line. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. What do you think? I like it. I mean, it's a little different, you know? Like, I didn't, I mean, I don't have the costume to match it, so I think that's why I'm, like, a little thrown off. I look more like a nature girl, if anything. But I love the way the makeup came out. So just to kind of do, like, a close-up. Oh, and yes, I have a nose ring. It's a faux nose ring because this chick is too scared to be putting needles in her body. Mm -mm. Anyway, let's get on into the zoom. So I really think it came out good. I mean, it's a lot of green, a lot of contour. I love the Anastasia color right here. Oh my gosh, that palette is so amazing. Um, the red lips, the red brows. I mean, like... I, I love this look. Like, I kind of want to be Poison Ivy for one of my Halloween parties. So, we'll see. But again, I hope you guys loved the tutorial. Make sure that you gave it a thumbs up some time between start to finish. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next Halloween, too. Bye.